Bill Orbendorf is known for being one of the proudest advocates in the school choice movement. Bill has not only contributed financially to the movement of advancing education options for all students in America, but he works tirelessly behind the scenes. As a beneficiary of school choice myself, I'm really grateful to have him in the movement. Growing up in Jacksonville, Florida, I failed the third grade twice. I went to about five or six elementary schools and it wasn't until I was given a private school choice scholarship that my trajectory of life changed. That's when I got connected to organizations and people like AFC and Bill Orbendorf. There's probably four million other Denisha Merriweathers across the country that have been directly impacted by Bill. He understands that families with means in this country they have access to a great education. The folks that are left behind are the ones that are relegated to underperforming schools in terrible zip codes. Bill Obendorf has been at the forefront of trying to change that system. You know, Bill is one of the rare people where the more we find out about him, the more you learn about the, the private works of charity that he's done, the, uh, on top of the tremendous philanthropic contributions and daily passion and, and work that he puts into the school choice movement, it's really just remarkable how good of a person he is. Bill has been, I think, one of the most impactful, one of the most influential volunteer supporters for the University of California, San Francisco, I would say in our history. We needed a world-class leader in psychiatry, and I turned to Bill and Susan, and they said, of course. I wouldn't be standing here, I don't think, if not for the generosity of Bill Opendorf. I think one of the things that's so remarkable about Bill as a philanthropist is a combination of his vision uh, and his courage. <laughs> so one of the big issues that has plagued progress in, in mental health and behavioral health issues in the past is stigma. Um, it's still here today. My, my view, and I, it's one that Bill shares, is that the strongest antidote to stigma is knowledge. The more that we understand about these disorders, the less um, barrier uh, there's going to be for people seeking help. And autism has been a great example of that, but we're seeing it now in depression. We're seeing it with anxiety. You can see it societally all around us as people are beginning to talk more about um, their experiences as, and not hiding that. When I think of Bill, I think of someone that cares so deeply about this city and about this community, and he is always wanting it to be better. There is no one more passionate about San Francisco and about the Bay Area than Bill Obendorf. The work of Tipping Point touches thousands of lives a week, tens of thousands of lives a month, a, a month and hundreds of thousands of lives each and every year. Uh, we are constantly trying to provide opportunities to individuals and families living in poverty throughout the Bay Area. I could walk you through numerous schools throughout the Bay Area that have been uh, improved, become better because of Bill's generosity. Uh, I could walk you through uh, housing uh, placements where individuals are there because of Bill's generosity. I could walk you through job training programs where people have gotten uh, $25 an hour jobs because of Bill's generosity. Um, the, the list of individuals is countless uh, of the lives that Bill has uh, helped here in San Francisco and throughout the region. And for that, I will forever be grateful to Bill. I couldn't think of anyone more deserving for this. He's a committed philanthropist uh, and he's dedicated to improving a lot of others. I think Bill Obendorf has been the fundamental change maker for so many millions of kids' lives. I think, I can't think of anybody more deserving than Bill Obendorf to get this award. These are children who are the most vulnerable in society. These are special needs children. These are the kids that Bill Bill's fighting for each and every day. These are the students who he's committed his life's work to, to helping. And those kids, the families are really, we're really grateful to have him in the fold. I'm really happy for him to receive this award and there's no more deserving person than Bill.